So that's how easy it is, guys, to swap out an airbag on a $300,000 McLaren. Oh, turned on. Everything went pretty smoothly, and it lined up pretty good comparing that it is an aftermarket windshield. to the channel in today's video we're gonna be back to work on our mclaren 720s but before we get started today's video is sponsored by raycon so i'm happy raycon is actually sponsoring today's episode because i've been using them for quite a while and i absolutely love them i've been using raycon earbuds for the past couple of months and i absolutely love them the design of them the compactness of them is absolutely amazing and they sound really good compared to any of the other ones on the market so here's everything that comes in the raycon box i went ahead and went with the blue ones which i absolutely love the color of them and the feel of this actually feels is really premium and compact love the design and the cool thing is this little wireless charging thing can last over 24 hours of use and we also have the charger in here right here and then these are the little earbuds it depends on what kind of ear you have so it comes with all that and then a little sling so another cool thing about the raycons is you can have over six hours of use and it also comes with a built-in microphone so not only do i like my raycon earbuds a lot of other celebrities like snoop dogg mike tyson rich the kid also wear them because they're absolutely amazing and the coolest thing about the raycons is they start at half the price of other premium brands so if you guys are interested in some raycon earbuds make sure you head over to buyraycon.com slash vtune get 15% off your purchase not only are you getting some premium earbuds you're also supporting my channel and if you don't like your Raycon earbuds they also have a 45 day free return policy so once again thanks to Raycon for sponsoring today's video let's get back to work on our McLaren so today's gonna be a super exciting episode we're finally gonna be painting this car we did have a couple of setbacks like in our paint booth both of our motors went out the intake and the exhaust fans went out so we have to get new motors we also went ahead and got all new filters for the top and bottom so everything is ready to go over there and on the McLaren, as you guys seen in the previous episode, we went ahead and installed the front windshield. We installed the airbag right here. Interior is pretty much done. And we, the car does smoke a little bit. And we did actually hit up some guys on Instagram. And he actually said it, it's probably our PCV valve. It's a little valve back there. And it's leaking a little bit of oil. And I guess it's causing it to get into the pistons. And that's why it's burning oil. But we're going to get a new one of those ordered up. They got to come all the way from the UK. But that's all good because we got all the panels nice and sanded, smoothed out. Everything is ready to go. About a week or two ago, we did also order some more parts from the McLaren dealership. I actually went ahead and ordered this side skirt right here. And the crazy thing from the dealer, it was like $270. And I was looking on eBay and they were like $1,800 dollars for a little piece of plastic and I called the dealership got that on order we also went ahead and ordered this front tub section right here we got the windshield cowl so we have a lot of parts we're gonna have to go to the dealership here soon and go pick them up so before we head down to the dealership I actually want to go ahead and start prepping the McLaren doors and we're actually gonna go ahead and paint these doors first as you can see all it is is just this little section right here and then there's a little resection right there and let's see if we get the door panel right here, it simply just slides on just like that. And everything pretty much has to be painted separately. There's no way to paint everything together. So I really wanna get that painted in before we do anything, cause there's a lot of pieces. There's freaking, there's one door panel, there's about three pieces to each door. And there's just not enough room in the paint booth to paint everything together. And I think if we paint that, there's not gonna be no paint differences because it's just such a small area and you can barely see it. Go ahead and get both of the doors into the paint booth and get them prepped up before we head to the dealership. So we got all the parts in the paint booth. Now pretty much all I have to do is go ahead and tape this area off right here. And as you can see, McLaren, they really did not like to tape it properly. They just taped it up. However, uh, so pretty much all we need to do is tape this area off right here and get both doors sprayed in and the back of the hood. Then we can put these doors back on the McLaren.
the hood. Everything turned out super perfect. Now what we're gonna do is head to Atlanta and pick up those last pieces that we need for the McLaren. So we just pulled out the shop. Atlanta's around two hours away, so we'll catch you guys there. So I just came out of the parts department and they told me to pull around and go ahead and load up all these parts. Pretty much have everything loaded up in the back and gladly everything fit up we got the windshield cowl the window the side skirt a lot of the other smaller pieces that we need and as we, when we were putting up all the parts i did talk with one of the service techs in there and he told me it could possibly be the pcd valve is why it's smoking but we're just going to replace that and probably dig a little deeper and if we can't fix the problem we'll probably just bring it here they got all the right computers everything to hook it up and see exactly what's wrong with the car we did see a lot of 720s's today there was a green one a gold one just like the one that i had it's actually inside the showroom pretty cool color but honestly there's not a single white one here and i think white's just gonna look freaking sick we already got the door panels painted and it's already looking awesome and we did see another orange one inside the, the shop and i think black white is just gonna look the best let's head back to the shop and get the rest of those body panels painted in all right let's hit the road let's go So it's the next day here at the shop. We got back from the dealership pretty late yesterday, so we didn't really film anything else, but we pretty much got the air intake right here. Ours was busted up pretty bad. And this is the main component that we were actually missing. And this is the last piece we needed to get this entire car all painted. And then we went ahead and slapped on this door right here. As you can see, it's all bolted on and the white paint job looks stunning. Paul did an amazing job on that. And we also went ahead and threw the window in. So pretty much this door is almost ready to go. And now what we're gonna do is go ahead and start putting all these other parts in the paint booth, prepping everything and getting them all sprayed in. So we got all the McLaren parts in the paint booth. We kinda have to set them up pretty Pretty weird, we got all the door panels over there, we got the fenders and the doors kind of together because they are gonna be on the car together. So we put them next to each other so they get the exact amount of paint on them. And a big shout out to CarQuest. Every time we paint any cars, they always hook us up with all the materials we need. So we got some less than all universal clear and then we have also our hardener right here, which is gonna give us a really nice paint job. If you guys are ever looking for some paint supply, make sure you hit up CarQuest. They give really good deals and they have everything you need to paint a car or fix a car. So right now what we're gonna do is go ahead and wax and grease remove all the body panels and then we'll go ahead and tack everything and then Paul will come in here and spray all the parts. <laughs>
prepped, set up in the booth. We went ahead and cleaned everything super good. And we'll go ahead and let Paul V-Tune do his magic. What's up guys? My name is Paul. I'm actually Ben's older brother and we're getting ready to spray his McLaren. The day has finally come. So what we're going to start with, Ben has already got everything prepped and cleaned in the paint booth. We're going to start with the sealer. The sealer is a white base, so it'll help everything even out and everything match perfectly as this car is getting painted in different panels. Let's get started. sealer down it created a nice good white base for us to put our next coat down which is the actual base coat um, it'll help us create an even finish between all the different panels because they're all painted separately and sometimes if you have slight different variations in the underlayment then maybe the color won't match so this makes it a guarantee that when we spray down our sickens base coat all these panels will be an identical color all right let's head to our mixing room to mix up our base coat and get to spraying So our sealer is pretty much dry. Before we go ahead and spray our base coat, we're gonna go ahead and tag it, make sure there's no small piece of the trash here and there. Um, and then we'll be spraying two coats of our sickened space coat. of our base coat down and I gotta tell you this stuff laid down so flat and that makes a huge difference to how your clear coat looks. So if your base coat is a little bit lumpy, you're gonna get some of that orange peel that protrudes or I guess gets magnified into the clear coat. And also we've got no trash in any of this stuff. We recently had replaced all our filters and this being a white color, you gotta be really careful. And some colors you can get away with small specks here and there and you won't see them, but being white, it's amazing that we don't have any pieces of trash anywhere in any of the panels. We're getting ready to throw down our clear. Let's get started.
So there it is guys, all the parts are painted on the McLaren. Paul did an amazing job on the paint job. This was a really tough paint job, especially with all these curves and corners and just because there's so much different pieces in here, but everything turned out amazing. So there it is guys, we pretty much have the entire car painted. The only thing we haven't painted yet was the front and rear bumpers. We just did not have enough room in the paint booth to fit everything in there. As you guys seen, it was already really cluttered and it'd be really easy to move in and knock something over. So that's why we didn't paint it. We'll go ahead and paint that in the next episode and hopefully everything will be dry. We can go ahead and put the entire doors together. We can put the quarter panels on the fenders and man, this car is coming along. For the next episode guys, we'll go ahead and paint both front and rear bumper and we'll go ahead and paint this spoiler and then we can go ahead and start assembling it. We can put both quarter panels on, put the entire door together, put the fenders on, put the hood on and this thing is going to be pretty much almost done after that and then we're going to take it to McLaren Atlanta, get them to service it. We need to actually bleed all the brakes or not the brake system, it's actually the hydraulics for the shock. As you guys remember, we did take all the hydraulic lines off so we will have to get all that programmed and we'll also have to clear all the codes on the dash because you can't really get a McLaren scanner. I've seen one, they're like five, six thousand dollars for one car, and that's honestly just too much. So we'll probably just take it to the dealership and have them do everything. Guys, that's gonna be a wrap for today's episode. We got a lot of work done on the McLaren, and this thing is coming along. Hopefully, in the next couple of weeks, we'll have this thing completely done. But if you enjoyed today's episode, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, drop a like. Also, follow us on Instagram at VTune. And if you want to support the channel, head over to VTune.com and copy some merch. Thanks for watching. Let's go grab one of those, uh, grab one of those shocks right quick, huh?